Ivanka Trump may be one of her father's most valuable assets. The poised and polished counterweight to Donald's brash and combative personality, the 35-year-old daughter of the president will have a significant voice throughout Trump's presidency. Here's Ivanka's path from teen model to businesswoman to first daughter. Ivanka is Donald's second child born in New York City in 1981. She had a brief stint in modeling in the late 90s before she enrolled in college at Georgetown. Two years later, she transferred to her father's alma mater, the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. In 2005, she went on to work as a real estate executive for her family firm, the Trump Organization. She then found reality TV fame alongside her father and brothers as a judge on The Celebrity Apprentice and around the same time launched her own fashion brand. She's putting her name on clothing and jewelry and shoes that other companies are designing uh, so that they sort of fit her image. That's Lindsay Rupp. I'm a retail reporter at Bloomberg News. Ivanka and her team capitalized on her name and image to build a brand designed around empowering women through her products. And this eventually developed into Ivanka Trump's sort of pet initiative called Women Who Work, where she highlights, you know, stories of women who are professionals and sort of have it all, like Ivanka Trump. It started as a hashtag. Then later became a book, one that has faced backlash for being out of touch with the average woman. I am officially running for President of the United States. And once he secured that nomination, Ivanka became a huge part of her father's campaign. I could not be more proud tonight to present to you Donald J. Trump. But for the daughter of the man who promises to bring all the outsourced jobs back to the U.S. I'm going to bring the jobs back from China. And I'll take them back from China, from Japan. We're going to stop businesses from leaving our country. Her clothing line is currently manufactured in China and Vietnam. I did approach the Ivanka Trump organization, and the response that they gave was basically that they're working with them to bring the jobs back, but that's, that's almost an impossible task. My father values talent. He is colorblind and gender neutral. Ivanka, the self-proclaimed spokesperson and defender of women's equal rights, became her father's most powerful supporter on the campaign trail. Ivanka Trump is really credited with softening her father's image, particularly in the eyes of a lot of women. She was seen as someone who could sort of pull him to the left a little bit. And like most of Trump's team, Ivanka has no policy background, but she became the point person during his campaign to talk about women's issues. He would bring her in and really credit her with helping him broaden his thinking on paid maternity leave, child care, uh, equal pay. Which takes us to Ivanka after her father won the election. People think that you're going to be part of the administration, Ivanka. I'm going to be a daughter, um, but I've, I've said throughout the campaign that I'm very passionate about certain issues. As the inauguration neared, Ivanka stayed close to her father. She moved into a $5.5 million home with her husband and three kids. Her husband, Jared Kushner, once a real estate scion in New York, was tapped to be Donald Trump's senior advisor. And Ivanka, with no official role in her father's cabinet, stepped down from her position in the Trump Organization as well as her personal fashion brand, claiming to focus on her family's new move. But Ivanka continued to advise her father in an unofficial capacity, raising ethical alarm bells in the Capitol, especially after this. It's a wonderful line. I own some of it. I fully, I'm going to just give it, I'm going to give a free okay. commercial here. Go buy it today, everybody. Responding to pressure, Ivanka accepted an unpaid role as a special advisor in the White House, and she became subject to federal rules and regulations. I try to stay out of politics and, and really lean into the issues that, that I care deeply about. But Ivanka's advice is not always taken. She was unable to influence her father on one of her pet issues, climate change. The United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. This is really uncharted territory. Her influence might be more background. It might be more subtle. No one really knows. By this time, Ivanka is a veteran in a White House that has seen senior staff come and go, and that could prove to be her biggest liability. She weren't my daughter with me, so much easier for her. <laughs> Might be the only bad thing she has going, if you want to know the truth. 